Hello everyone, you are welcome to our channel MarvTech. So today we are going to gain knowledge about the Li-Fi technology. Before starting the video I would like to say, that please subscribe if you hadn't till now. And if you enjoy the video then please ensure to hit that like button, it gives us motivation to make great content for you people. So let's start the video. So let's first learn that what is Li-Fi. The full form of Li-Fi is Light Fidelity. A Li-Fi network uses the light from LED lamps to send data to a device, such as a laptop or tablet. Li-Fi uses light beam that is called Li-Fi Visible Light Communication for data transmission. Now you would think that why can we see the data transmission? Actually the beam or rays of light containing data can't be seen by human eyes. Now let's see that how Li-Fi technology works. Li-Fi is designed to use LED light bulbs, similar to those currently in use in many energy-conscious homes and offices, however, Li-Fi bulbs are outfitted with a chip that modulates the light imperceptibly for optical data transmission. Li-Fi data is transmitted by the LED bulbs and received by photoreceptors, that simply means a light bulb with Li-Fi technology inside. You would be thinking that what is the difference between Li-Fi and Wi-Fi? Well nice question so let's see the differences between these both. The main difference between Wi-Fi and Li-Fi is, Wi-Fi uses radio waves in order to transmit data at a slower data rate. Whereas Li-Fi uses visible light in order to transmit data at a much faster rate, Li-Fi is a groundbreaking technology which has been introduced recently in wireless communication. Through this technology, the bulbs at homes, offices and streets will not only be able to light and illuminate the environment but will also be able to transmit data wirelessly at high speed. Now let's discuss some pros and cons of Li-Fi. First the pros of Li-Fi. Li-Fi comes with a lot of other benefits. Here are its major advantages. First speed. Light waves are able to carry far more information than radio waves used in Wi-Fi technology. Since the visible light spectrum is almost 10,000 times larger than the spectrum occupied by radio waves, this is why data transmission using Li-Fi is 100 times faster than data transmission using Wi-Fi. Li-Fi connection can transmit data at the rate of 224 gigabytes per second. At this speed, a high-definition video can be downloaded in seconds. Second efficiency. Li-Fi holds the potential to be more energy efficient and cheaper due to the nature of LED bulbs which are already efficient on their own. Li-Fi technology gives them another purpose. This will save costs in homes and workplaces because it could do without electronic devices such as routers modems, signal repeaters, wave amplifiers, and antennas. These devices have to be connected to power 24-7 in order for them to function. The fact that a lot of infrastructures probably has LED lights already in place, using Li-Fi would not be an extra cost. On top of that, the company Pure Li-Fi is also developing solar cells as photodetectors to enable wireless battery charging and wireless internet simultaneously. Third security. Radio waves can be intercepted by people outside your network since they can pass through walls compromising the security of your data, but light is stopped by opaque objects making Li-Fi significantly more secure than other wireless technologies. You won't have to worry about leaking your connection to public spaces potentially giving other people access to your network, some rooms could even be designated as high security areas with their own Li-Fi networks, isolating them from other areas of the building where vulnerable IoT devices might be connected. Now let's discuss the cons of Li-Fi. First, internet cannot be used without a light source. This could limit the locations and situations in which Li-Fi could be used. Second, because it uses visible light, and light cannot penetrate walls, the signal's range is limited by physical barriers. Third, other sources of light may interfere with the signal, one of the biggest potential drawbacks is the interception of signals outdoors. Sunlight will interfere the signals, resulting in interrupted internet. Fourth, a whole new infrastructure for Li-Fi would need to be constructed. Okay so guys that's all for today thank you for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, share it with your friends if you find it useful, and please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. All these things are free to use and all our social media handles are given below in the description box. Goodbye and see you in the next video.